Part 1 Spine and Rib Cage In this video lesson, you will learn the main bones of the human torso. Let's make a quick sketch of the spine. When viewed from the side, the human spine has a double curve, like the letter S. These curves are distinctive. The spine also grows thicker as it runs from the top to bottom. It can be divided into four parts. Each part has its own curvature. I will draw a quick outline of the skull here. The human skull connects to the body via the first vertebra at the top of the spine. This vertebra is called the atlas. This name is derived from the mythological titan who, according to Greek mythology, was held the heavenly sphere on his shoulders. The joint between the first vertebrae and the skull allows the head to move forward and backward. The second vertebra is called the axis. Its anatomical construction allows the head to rotate to the left and to the right. Just below the collarbones, the first pair of ribs is attached to the breastbone. This pair defines the base of the neck and is as wide as the neck itself. The first seven pairs of ribs are called true ribs because they are connected to the breastbone. Every subsequent pair of ribs is wider than the previous one. That is why the rib cage becomes wider following an egg-shaped contour. The sacrum of the pelvis consists of five vertebrae fused together. In red pencil, I will mark the vertebral muscle that runs along the back to keep the spine erect. This muscle is called the sacrospinalis, and, as you can see, it lies between the spineous process and the rib. <laughs> 